I just started rewatching Friends and when Ross had Ben, it reminded me of how it is when your friends start having kids as the first in the groups to become parents and everyone has to adjust to it. Suddenly they have responsibilities and they have a human being that they alone need to care for. And of course, this is gonna change your friendship dynamic, but this is a change that you just need to accept sooner rather than later because the child is here forever. They're here to stay. First, I just wanna give some perks to your friends having kids. First of all, it's such a beautiful journey and experience that you get to share with your friends. Watching people you care about that much have a child is just insane. I've been so close to feeling that my heart is gonna explode so many times because I just can't like contain all the happiness and the love that I feel. Another perk, your friends are literally multiplying. They're creating these mini versions of themselves that you get to enjoy and be around. They're literally adding more people to your friendship. And another big perk is that you get to play and have fun with kids without any responsibilities but don't just be there for the cute stuff. I shared a picture on Instagram a few months ago and it was something like, you don't just need friends who are there for the first baby and think it's super cute and fun and all of that. You need friends who actually stick around through the hard times and for baby number two, baby number three. It's not just about feeling the kicks through the stomach and watching your stomach grow and predicting who the baby's gonna look like, taking cute pictures to post on Instagram. It's not just about that. I spoke to someone ages ago who said a friend was pregnant and everyone tried to be besties with her because they wanted to be a godparent and the cringe is real don't just be there for that kind of stuff actually be a part of it support them through the hard things because having a baby is not easy and it's not always easy for people to ask for help try and think of things you can do for your friends to help maybe like clean their house walk their dog make dinner for them or even you know if you can borrow the older siblings if they have more kids for a few hours or something so that the parents can have some alone time with the baby obviously this depends what kind of relationship you have with the parents and also what each individual family needs and also what you can do for them. When my first friend who is my age had a baby, we were 20. I didn't really know anything. I didn't think about stuff like that. Yeah, oh, maybe I should like, you know, make them dinner. Like, I did not think of that. But one very obvious thing that I could help her with because she didn't have her driver's license yet. So I drove her to like the doctors with the baby and like to, you know, do her food shop and stuff. But a very, very important favor I guess you can do for them is to be patient and understanding. If you've planned to meet and they have to reschedule or push it back or something like that because they've had a sleepless night with the kid or anything at all that has happened with the kid, obviously don't give them a hard time for it. They didn't do that on purpose. Of course they would have loved to be you know fresh and rested and everything and be there on time but it's very hard to plan stuff when you have a small baby. <laughs> Try to be helpful and flexible and change the times or maybe change the location to somewhere child friendly so they can bring their child. If you're doing something that they can bring their child to, make sure that you invite the child so they don't feel like, oh, I have to bring my child, like, is that okay? Because they might not know how excited you are about it and like whether you want them to bring them or not. So it doesn't hurt to just tell them like, bring them, it'll be fun, you know? But if they have to cancel, don't be rude about it because they're probably stressed enough and it sucks for them that they didn't get to go so they don't really need you to like give them a hard time about it and it's not like it's gonna happen every time having a baby doesn't mean that you can never go anywhere they're still the same person so don't treat them differently don't stop inviting them to stuff because you think they can't come anyway but if they can only come for a little while or they have to leave to breastfeed or something like that don't give them a hard time they tried they showed up they were probably super tired but they still came to socialize that's good enough but if you're feeling a very strong unbalance in your friendship don't just push them away talk to them about it communicate but obviously this is their number one priority and they might not realize that they're not giving enough to the friendship obviously within reason you can't expect the whole world when they've just had a baby you have to give them some slack they could be struggling to even you know eat dinner every day and if they get some kind of parent brain and they only talk about their kid or they just show you a thousand pictures of their kids every day and it's too much for you talk to them about it they don't want to be annoying maybe they don't realize their kid is like a huge thing in their life that just happened and they're super excited about it so maybe they want to talk about it all the time if you don't that's okay but let them know something else is very important is that they are still an individual and it's important that they get to talk about how they're feeling especially the hard things try and ask them about you know how they're feeling how they're doing and how their relationship is going and how their routine is and all of that because it can be very hard to bring up luckily the fact that postpartum and having a baby and all of that is hard is being more normalized in our society which is 
is great, but it's still maybe difficult for them to bring it up. So ask them about it, talk to them about it. It might sound silly, but make sure they're getting heard and seen as well. And it's not just always about the baby. And of course, I can't make this video without mentioning this, but it's so important to remember boundaries. Your friends having kids and all of that is super fun, but it only becomes your business when they tell you about it. Before that, don't pester them about having kids, which also we are becoming more aware of in society that you don't ask people about that stuff because it's very sensitive and it can be very hard to get those questions. One of my goddaughters is a rainbow baby and when my friend was pregnant with her, I heard someone ask her when she's gonna have kids and I just felt horrible. I can't even imagine how she was feeling and it was so awkward. This also applies to being there through the hard times because having babies is most of the time positive but it can also be really hard and your friends especially need you through that. We joke a lot in my friend group about who's next to have a kid and stuff like that but that's just innocent pants like it's not actually asking a specific person like when are you gonna have kids because you don't need to ask your friends because they're gonna tell you when they want you to know uh, I just realized I raised my voice this is a very uh, close to my heart topic as you can tell this is one of the most exciting news that you can give anyone so of course your friends are gonna tell you so you absolutely do not need to ask just to end with some more funny things I'm making this sound super easy but I'm not gonna pretend it's been a super you know easy road for me either I have done some stupid things and said some stupid things. I remember the days before one of my goddaughters was born, I asked my friend every single day like, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? And she was literally like, it's not like I'm not gonna tell you when she's born. Like, <laughs> And I haven't been like that with any of my other friends because I, I learned. This is a learning curve for everyone. This one's not really anything wrong. One of my friends had told me that her and her boyfriend were gonna start trying and a month or two later I met them and we had dinner and we were catching up and I was just like, so anything new? What's happening? And she literally just looked at him I was like, no. I don't know, we don't have anything new. And it was just the worst poker face ever. We've been friends for so long that I instantly knew. But obviously I didn't say anything. Because of course, if they wanted to tell me, they would have told me then. And when she told me, like probably a month later or something like that, I was like, I knew it. So yeah, like even if you know, like don't ask them about it because that's just gonna create an awkward situation. Wait for them to tell you. This is another one of my friends. She told me that she was pregnant and I was just shocked because I didn't know that she wanted kids. And one of the first things that I said was, was it possible? Planned. It was planned by the way, but that doesn't matter if they're gonna have a kid They're gonna have a kid. It doesn't really matter if it's planned and it's really none of your business Regardless of how close you are <laughs> like it's not really a question that should be asked But yeah by saying stupid things you learn what not to say and looking back Obviously I was a lot younger when I said this but it's just so cringy and this one is by far the most stupid thing I've done which of course I will never do again and it's so like oh I can't even believe that I did that but when we were 20 when that friend went into labor the water broke during the day and in the evening. We were actually celebrating one of our mutual friend's birthdays and we were all like, is the baby gonna be born on the same day? Like, are they gonna share their birthday? She was born one minute past midnight. How crazy is that? But when we were there having cake and everything, she told us that like she was going to the hospital and I posted on her Facebook wall. I just posted like lots of hearts. Everyone knew that she was heavily pregnant. Literally everyone understood what, what that meant. Also, we were 20. Like, it was more normal to post on Facebook walls then. It was just so unnecessary and so stupid. When you do that, you're stealing their thunder. Announcing that a baby is being born or a pregnancy or anything, it's not your job. Like it's their news to tell and you should never take that away from them. Of course, that was not my intention. I didn't even think about the fact that it was public. So it wasn't even my intention to do that, but of course, like people realized. So it was really, really stupid. And it's something that I will never, ever, ever do again. And also talking about my friends as we were like 19, 20, when this all happened, when our friend told us that she was pregnant, we still have that group chat and it's so, funny to look back on the stupid stuff that we said because our age was just really showing. I said something like, let us know when you're in labor so that we can come to the hospital come to the hospital. So we're just gonna like be there and sit out in a corner when she's in labor. Like what? The journey that you're on and learning how to deal with this and be good about it and say the right things and all of that. It's so funny the amount of dumb stuff that I've said and done and just, oh, I have definitely improved. But the most important thing, just be there for your friends, support them, ask them what they need, understand that they might need to do things differently. My friends having kids is honestly the most like enriching experience and I wouldn't have it any other way. My friendships have not become harder. We're closer and stronger than ever 
and I am just so in love with all these kids. Might start crying because <laughs> they make me so happy. <laughs> it is a good thing. You're getting these super cool mini versions of your friends. They're like your actual friends, but they're just small and cute. Don't stress about it. Don't think that your friends are going to change. Don't think that your friends are going to become boring because it's just an amazing addition to your friendships. So don't be scared. Don't be worried. It's going to be okay. Just be there for your friends. I hope this video didn't turn out to be like 30 minutes long because I feel like I can just go on about this forever. But I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next Friday with a new video. Keep it the good vibes. Bye!